The African Christian Democratic Party, ACDP, is holding its National General Council today. This is to reflect on its constitutional amendments and policy proposals. For more on this, we now cross to our reporter, Natasha Piri, who is with camera person Zintleng Yoga there for us. Thank you so much for your time, Natasha. So perhaps just take us through some of the core issues that will be discussed at the council today. Well, very good afternoon to you, Mkolis, and of course to our SABC viewers. Just before I actually answer that question, I'd like to step out of the frame and actually show you what is going on right now. You have uh, various members of the ACDP uh, coming out in their numbers for their National General Conference, and of course you can see over hundreds of them. Uh, they're just about to be addressed by uh, their party leader, Reverend Kenneth Mushwe, and uh, we are told that this National, uh, uh, National General Conference of the ACDP uh, actually starts started on Wednesday and today is actually the final day. Uh, there you have it. You've got visuals there of the Reverend Kenneth Meshwe and his wife and of course uh, various NEC members of the ACDP following after. Um, just shortly uh, we'll be speaking to Bishop Dalton Adams um, who is the chairperson of the party here uh, you know in uh, the province and as we actually speak over these visuals we'll just be talking to him and just asking him about you know the cracks and the importance of this National General Conference. Uh, Bishop Dalton, thank you so much for joining us at SABC News. Why is it important that the ACDP had uh, to have this National General Conference this weekend? We, 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 we came to do some policy amendments in terms of the Constitution. Secondly, we have also elected our new president, which is still the same president, Kenneth Mishwe, and our deputy president, uh, Wayne Thring. And we brought all our nine provinces here. So we are very excited. We are on the way leading to 2024. That's the main thing why we're here. And as I'm talking to Bishop Dalton Adams, you can see the leadership of uh, the ACDP walking in here. And of course, uh, members of the party are just, you know, very happy. Uh, it seems that there's a hype of activity here. Very, very happy as the Reverend and uh, his wife and various members of the party, the NEC members of the party, are walking up to the stage. As you heard there, Bishop Dalton Adams saying that um, they will be reflecting on the various policy resolutions of the party, which is uh, economic growth, job creation, the impact of load shedding, mandatory COVID-19 vaccination. As you know that um, the ACTV was quite controversial um, when it comes to the issue of vaccination. Some have actually labeled the party as anti-vaxxers, but they weren't really promoting um, you know, vaccinations throughout uh, the COVID-19 of the party just walking in here and of course um, some of them just reacting uh, to that leadership. If I'll just probably try to get a doorstop from the president of the ACTP. Sir, how are you feeling today and what can we expect from your address? You can hear the mood here and you can see and the excitement and the confirmation that ACTP is definitely growing. So people are motivated to say change must come in South Africa. And coalition governments, what is your issue on that? Well, we are not talking coalition now. We are talking about godly governance. God, we want godly governance. We don't even want to consider co coalitions now. Maybe the time will come, but now we are saying we want a godly government. And so, anything perhaps on ESCOM? We know that load shedding has been a thorn in the flesh of many South Africans. It's been a daily occurrence. We saw that um, the president, Ramaphosa, is saying that South Africa needs 1.5 trillion rand over the next five years for its plans uh, to, to go into a just energy transition. Well, money is available. Money has been stolen. And the president knows the people who stole the money. So they must work hard to get that money to pay whatever is needed for that transition. So they mustn't act as if they don't have money. Money is in the pockets of the many, many politicians. And also money is in the things of those who have looted the state. Reverend Misha, thank you so much. We look forward to your address. And of course, as he was actually talking to us, it seems as if we are load shed again. Yeah. So, uh, but I do implore you, Mkolisi, to actually stay tuned to Channel 404 SABC News as we bring you all the, um, the latest in regards to the National General Conference of the ACDP as it concludes uh, today.
Natasha Piri is our reporter out there watching that important story for us. And of course, just raising some pertinent issues and just at the back of that load shedding heads because she was already asking some of those uh, important questions around some of the problems that South Africans are facing in this day and age. She's watching that all important story for us. We'll no doubt be going back to her as soon as there are more developments there.